When we get there, those excessive heat warnings should not be taken lightly. Last year, Texas saw the second hottest summer on record and the loss of 279 lives. That's according to the Texas Health Department. The summer could also be a doozy. We're already off to quite a start. As News 12's Garrett Stringfellow tells us, health officials have words of warning. As temperatures in Texas continue to climb into the triple digits, your risk of heat exhaustion or a heat stroke increases right alongside them. When you have the opportunity to be inside, get in air conditioning, sit in a car with air conditioning. Garrett Morris is a firefighter and a paramedic with the Denison Fire Department, and he says that it's important to catch heat-related symptoms early. The cramping in early stages, uh, kind of get a dry mouth from being out in the sun too long. You start feeling nauseous. Some other signs of heat exhaustion include increased heart rate, dizziness, muscle weakness, and heavy sweating. As far as heat stroke, uh, patients often stop sweating and they'll start to have that altered mental status. Uh, things aren't working right in your body and that's when things can get real serious. Morris says that if you can't get out of the heat, hydration is key to preventing heat-related illness. Uh, if you work outside every day, continuously drinking water, the heat isn't just a problem for us either. Matthew Press is a firefighter and EMT with the Denison Fire Department, and he says that we also need to pay close attention to our pets. Dog paws can burn very easily during the summer as well. On Wednesday afternoon, I took the time to see just how hot things can get. Now it's only 90 degrees out here right now, and it's been overcast most of the day, but according to this thermal imaging camera, the concrete underneath my feet is registering at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. That's compared to the 80 degrees Fahrenheit it is inside. And if you think that's hot, get a load of this. The seat of this car is currently measuring at 140 degrees Fahrenheit and the steering wheel closer to 165. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of heat related illness, seek medical attention right away. In Denison, Garrett Stringfellow, News 12.